Okay, so inside of DaVinci Resolve, go to the main bin, click and drag your video into here. Got my own certain bins put out here, but you can create your own depending on how you edit. Um, you can separate to raw audio, B-roll, sound effects, whatsoever. So down here, you have the option to add an extra timeline. I've got my own specific timeline set out for how I edit, but you can do it your own way. Um, the best way to do it though is to go new timeline. Um, here it will show you the details of it. Just put in your own name of the specific timeline. This one it's called Mobile Cut 2. Uh, you can click user project settings to change specific layout, but for this we're going to do a different way. So we're going to double click it, timeline, timeline settings. Everything's blanked out. Click Use Project Settings, go to your resolution and swap the numbers around. You can do 720 by 1280 if you have a lower resolution need and 30 FPS depending on what you're doing with the project. So what that does is gives us now a canvas that's built for mobile formats. You get your little timeline down here on the thing. Okay, so what you want to do is double click on your main footage video and then click and drag this to a point where you want to cut the specific video on this main timeline. Once you've found a spot, click I and then O to in and out, start on the end, click and drag from the image down onto the timeline. And then when you've got all those specific timelines led up all together on your mobile format, come over to here on the video edit side, move the zoom and the position into your camera, webcam, and or whatever you need in that specific thing is in the right position. Zoom, so play around with this. This will be different depending on your layout of your webcam. Um, and once you've found a good spot, so that'll fit nicely in between there. Um, and yeah, like I said, it depends on your own webcam. Just move it up until it reaches the point where it looks good for you. For me, this is a good spot. Um, and then all we have to do is select our timeline that we have here. I'm going to go over and then copy and duplicate it. Drag it up to one and then across over the top of it. So now what we're going to do is edit it and change it for our main gameplay without the webcam. So you just move it around until you get a specific spot. I've just reset the settings here so it's back to normal. And then what I'm going to do is zoom it in so that my webcam just gets put off screen. So I like to position it, but yours will be different depending on the layout. Um, position left and right and up and down. Depending on X and Y, I usually position it just so I get the bottom of the thing. Also, a game, different games have different crops, so that'll work differently. Down here, you can crop at the top, bottom, left, or right, depending on the gameplay. I like to crop the top just to get the compass out the way and to see the full webcam. And then, yeah, once that's all done and set out like that, the two different layers, it should be in mobile format. Um, and this usually works for most games. Um, I found that fighting games don't work too well. Now we're going to export it, go down to the bottom, click the rocket. Um, and then on the left side, we've got our export information. Put your file name, your location. And then when you've got that all ready, um, go down to render queue. Unfortunately, I've got the same name. So in this one, I'm going to call it something different. Uh, you call it yours, whatever you like, depending on your project. So I'm going to call it Power Fist of Fury. That's cool. Nearly said furry. When you go down, click to add to render queue, and that'll add it to the right. And then you go click to render. Now, depending on the size of your project and or resolution, it can take a specific amount of time. If you're making multiple clips inside the thing, a little tip you can do is uh, on the same timeline, have a second clip ready. And then all you need to do is click on what you already have, copy that, click on the new clip, and then copy that into the zoom. And then with all the other ones, you just do this with all of the settings. So double click, control C, double click, control V into the new clip. 
and then do this with all the settings all the way through. Um, this only works if the format you're using is similar to the previous one. If it's a new clip with a new game and or webcam, then this is going to be different settings altogether. But this is just for cutting the same stream down. Um, yeah. And then all we have to do is duplicate that again, chuck it over the top, and then same as before, but using the top clip here, the different settings for the gameplay over the top. Just copy the zoom, position, and everything you had into that new clips transform information. And once that's all done, it should just fall into place quite nicely, just like the previous clip. And there we go. And the same works with the cropping as well. Just to click, double click on the crop information, click on that new one. Obviously, I messed up on the thing. Now I do have to double click <laughs> and double click it in and enter, and then click and that crops it down. And yeah, that's how to fast track instead of doing it a new one every time. To export multiple clips off the same timeline, all you have to do is I and O in and out on the same timeline clip. As long as you have a different name for each one, in this case, it's the same one. So, what I'm going to do is just rename this one specifically new EG and adds it to the render clip on the side here. Alright, you see it on that thing. Then you just I and then O in and out on that clip. Create a new name for that specific clip. Settings are all good. And then when you add it to the render queue, you can now see there's multiple there. And you can click Click one, two, or multiple. Then you can just render both at the same time. And that'll just go down the line and export them wherever you like. And there we go. That should be all good. Now you'll be able to find those videos in your exported file. And then you just upload them to whatever TikTok, YouTube, Shorts, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you like. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment to help me reach a thousand. Here's some videos for you to check out on my channel. Yeah. Anyway, peace out.